There is a massive fallout between the players and the manager of Manchester United. Could this be contributing to the lack of effort, the lack of desire, the lack of fight in these players? Welcome to the United of Sport. My name is Webb. And again, we continue to unearth the so many problems that Ineos is supposed to deal with as they try to put Manchester United right now. Right now, as it is, of course, when someone is fighting their last, they always wobble and keep, keep, uh, keep spilling things. Now, the fact that Eric Ten Hag is almost sinking under pressure, he's beginning to wobble, and trust me, things are beginning to be released. He won't go down just like that. It is clear he has been consistent, like we've always anticipated. The issue is with most of these players. Now, what, I, what is emerging, reports that are coming through suggest that certain players at Manchester United have refused to respond stubbornly and deliberately, refused to respond to instructions to the boss after them falling out with him for his methods, for his disciplinary approach, for his solid approach, for his, you know, a, a, a stoic character that is, does not get him bent to anything. Now, players are not happy and some of them have even come out publicly before and stated that they will not be staying on the bench for as long as they're at the club. And... You know the players we're talking about. Christian Eriksen recently came out and knew that uh, he will leave if he's not playing. He wants to be playing. He demands to be playing. We do know that Marcus Rashford is not, might not be exactly injured. There is issues that are being managed between Marcus Rashford and the club and the manager because he has clearly shown that he, lo he lacks the desire and interest in playing. And there are so many players we can mention. We know that... Uh, Players like Rafael Varane before who had fallen out with Eric Ten Hag. So many, of, so many of these players do not actually want to play for Eric Ten Hag. They are not responding to instructions and that's why you clearly see they don't care, care what level of unprofessionalism is embedded in this club. This is the rot that Ineos is dealing with. These are the players that Eric Ten Hag is expected to turn into world beaters. Oh my goodness. What a job on card. But Ineos are determined to put things right. Ineos are determined to make sure they get the best solution for the good of the club. But the but, you know uh, unprofessionalism of uh, some of these players, which has uh, been confirmed before recently by Ineos themselves, uh, has uh, uh, got some of them. You know the, the the acts. You won't be surprised by the players, of course, when the summer transfer window opens, who will be leaving the club. But what Ineos have decided to do is they will let first deal with these players before they get to the manager because they don't want to give them the satisfaction because most of the issues are with unprofessional footballers. Now, here is the issue that is being, uh, again, that's growing. The longer Ineos takes to make a decision on the future of Eric Ten Hag, two things happen. One, the players will continue not playing. Some of these players, the reason some of these players are not playing is because Expect that Eric Ten Hag will be sacked. So they want to completely fail him. So they are waiting. They feel like Ineos is delaying. So Inyo, if Ineos wants to salvage the season, they have got to pronounce themselves on the situation of Eric Ten Hag. Whether they are keeping him or sacking him, they have got to make a pronouncement so that the players will know, if I don't play, I'm leaving because the manager has got the full backing. If I, I don't want to put in the heart to the desire, we are going into a transfer window, I will leave. But what Ineos is doing, keeping their cards close to their chest, is dragging on a problem and the players will still not come and fight for the manager. That's why I've said it here before, that uh, these Man United players, poor as they are, why do they play better against the so-called big teams, against Liverpool in the rivalries? Why do they show up and fight to say desire? But when it comes to the so many games which are smaller opponents, they don't fight at all. It's clearly because when it comes to the grudge matches, the big games, it's not about the manager. It's them and their pride of you know not losing to Arsenal. When it gets to the other so many games, they shut down completely. So there is an unsound, unspoken uh, conflict or strike against Eric Ten Hag that in your self sensed. And that's why they are saying we're not going to give these players what they want. This is the rot at this club of ours. And it is being one after the other. Unprofessionalism of the highest order, but Ineos have said this is exactly what has been causing a big issues. And that's why probably poor guy Eric Ten Hag is also confused. That's why, by the way, I'm 50-50, if you notice in my videos. I, I'm 50-50 with Eric Ten Hag. Before I get to him, I think let us first deal with these unprofessional players because there has got to be a level of professionalism. These players have got to play for the badge, not a manager. Play for the badge. But 
they are here. So they are waiting for Ineos. So if Ineos is not deciding, they will go into another game and don't show up. Against Arsenal, trust me, they will fight. And don't be surprised if actually the, the, uh, Man United doesn't lose against Arsenal. But again, in the rest of the games, they will just come and you know attend because they have to be to pay be, uh, to be paid. They have to do the, to to be seen like they are playing, but without any uh, serious push and drive. And then after that, they want they are waiting to hear Ineos has sacked Eric Ten Hag, and then they get relieved. So it's a case even if Ineos might want to sack Eric Ten Hag. My feeling is let him first deal with the players. Let them first deal with this unprofessionalism. That's why they're already doing it in a silent way. They have dealt with Marcus Rashford, who to some was a ringleader because he has he had become too big, felt too big, uh, perhaps bigger than everyone around him. That even he, as they played, it was difficult for players, his colleagues, to even come to him and approach him and celebrate with him. Well, he felt a bit, you know, something else. He's, he's like a cult leader in the dressing room. So all these are the issues that Ineos are seeing, but this is also why they are delaying the decision. They know, Ineos knows what they want to do with Eric Ten Hag. They definitely know, because they came with a plan. They know what they want to do with Eric Ten Hag. They just first want to deal uh, with the problem from outside inward, outside in, not inward, inward out. Just come and, 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 and circle the problem until you get to the manager, because the manager is the least of the problem. The bigger problem is with how these players came in how the contracts they have, their attitude, how they are managed, and everything before you get to the tactics of the manager, which are also an issue, but that will be sorted when the right players are in. So that's the situation. In fact, it is believed that uh, Marcus that's why, did you see any doctors attend to him when he limped off after the Coventry game? No one attended to him because no one believes he's injured. So even Eric Ten Hag, when he speaks about him, the non-verbal cues show that he's not sure what his problem is because he's saying we don't know what the problem is how can a manager say he doesn't know a day after or two days after the injury they don't say what the, they don't know what the problem is what's that the doctors don't know what is it that happened to him that they don't know you can't say that but Eric Ten Hag said that I think up to now if you inquire about the Marcus Rashford injury you won't get a clear response what exactly the injury is they are just dealing with him to put his head right because it was getting out of hand both for him on the pitch and the manager but also with the supporters so he thought maybe he would get away with it but the supporters came and added pile to misery and they they, they, they added you know salt and uh, to, to the wound and it was all getting becoming a mess for him it fell out of hand he tried to come out publicly and seek public sympathy it only turned bitter for him so they say the best thing is for this boy to be withdrawn slowly and subtly so that's what is going on at manchester united there is a player revolt we spoke about the player power before we spoke about these players being you know untouchable uh be feeling like they're too big because they earn so much money to do absolutely nothing the boss is has got the protection first from ineos not that he's immune but ineos are saying they first want to deal with the players so winning in advantage, what they are saying is they have given up on this season because these players will not respond, will not play, will not perform for as long as Eric Ten Hag is in charge. The only reason they could perform is teams, the, the teams we are facing next, especially Arsenal and Man City in the FA Cup final, is more even about them. It's uh, they, they 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 want to beat Man City for themselves. They want to lift to have a medal, an FA Cup medal for themselves, not for the manager. Uh, so they will fight. They will put on a fight. Will they win? Maybe not. But they will put on a fight. You will see some desire in them, which is what we want to see. Same thing with Arsenal. It's Arsenal. They certainly don't want to be the guys who gave Arsenal the trophy. They don't want to be swept easy by an Arsenal team who are arch rivals of Man United. So they will put on a fight against Arsenal. But in the longer run, these players have left down, have left, let down the manager deliberately, and they have been figured out. That is why. Ineos are still playing, keeping their cards to their chest when it comes to the situation of Eric Ten Hag. My name is Webb. That's a quick update on the rot inside Manchester United and the corrections being done. I do remind you, over 80% of you who enjoy these videos don't subscribe. Guys, please do subscribe, like the video, and share for the good of this channel. Just subscribe, and of course, let's grow. And uh, form uh, probably the biggest Manchester United uh, community in Africa. It's possible. It is possible because while we're headed, they, there must be light at the end of the tunnel. I see it. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. We want to be there.